Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, uh, my name is Stephen Karyungi. I'm going to take you through biology and the topic is classification two, as indicated here. Uh, in classification two, the first subtopic that we shall start with is the five kingdoms of taxonomy. So we look at the five kingdoms of taxonomy, and here is a list of the five kingdoms. Number one, we have kingdom Monera. In kingdom Monera, here we have mainly the bacteria. Then number two, we have kingdom Protoctista. Here we have protozoa and algae. Protozoa and algae. We shall look at the details about each of the kingdoms. Number three, we have kingdom fungi. We, here we have basically the different examples of fungi. Then we have kingdom plantae where we have plants. And then lastly, number five, we have kingdom animalia. Here we have animals. So those are the five uh, kingdoms of taxonomy. So we are going to look at each one of them in details, starting with kingdom Monera. In kingdom Monera, we are going to look at uh, uh, as we've mentioned here, bacteria. So we shall look at the various examples of bacteria. So we'll start with the examples. The common bacteria that we have uh, that are responsible for the common diseases, we have, for example, the bacteria that causes cholera. We refer to that bacteria as Vibrio cholerae. So that name must be written scientifically according to the rules of binomial nomenclature, which we learned earlier. And this must be underlined as shown there. Another example of a bacteria, we have the bacteria that causes a, a typhoid. We refer to it as Salmonella typhi also should be written scientifically. So, you can also mention here that uh, the first bacteria is the one that causes cholera, the second causes typhoid. Those are common diseases uh, that we are familiar with or that we encounter in our everyday lives. So those are the bacteria that cause them. So we are going to go direct to the characteristics of the members of Kingdom Monera. And the first characteristic, uh, bacteria, they are very small organisms. We cannot see them with their, our naked eyes. They are microscopic. They can only be seen with the aid of a microscope. So that means they are very, very tiny. So one of the characteristics, we say that they are unicellular. They are unicellular. Unicellular simply means they are single-celled. They are single-celled. That's why we cannot uh, see the bacteria when they are in our blood. But if the blood sample is taken put on a microscope slide and then examined, then you can be able to see the bacteria. So one of the characteristics is that they are unicellular or they are single-celled. Number two is that uh, uh, the members of Kingdom Monera, that's the bacteria, they have a cell wall. They have a cell wall, but not made 
of cellulose. We know that uh, we learned the cell wall in, uh, in Form 1 uh, topic on the cell structure, whereby we saw the cell wall. And we said that, for example, in a plant cell, the cell wall is made of cellulose. But in the case of bacteria, the bacteria have a cell wall, but not made of cellulose. So there's something that uh, you need to note that that cell wall is not made of cellulose. Uh, the other characteristic uh, of uh, Kingdom Monera, and the most important one, is that they are prokaryotic. What does the word prokaryotic mean? The word prokaryotic means that they lack a nuclear membrane. They have a nucleus, but that nucleus is not enclosed by a nuclear membrane. So prokaryotic means that they lack a nuclear membrane. So before we look at uh, the other characteristics, we are going to have a diagram showing uh, the structure of a bacterium. Bacterium is when it is one. When there are many, they are called bacteria. So bacteria is the plural, bacterium is the singular. So we're going to have a diagram of a bacterium. So we're going to look at a general structure of a bacterium. And when a student is drawing a diagram in biology, you should make sure that that diagram is not shaded. It's not, it's not supposed to be shaded. So we shall label our diagram. Uh, the first structure here, we refer to it as a flagellum. Then we have the cell wall. We have the cell membrane. Then we have the cytoplasm. And then we have finally the nuclear material the nuclear material. So this is a general structure of a bacterium. And as I said, uh, bacteria is plural. So bacterium is the singular. So I want us to look at that diagram with the reference to the characteristics. The first characteristic is that it is unicellular. It's a single cell, as you've seen. The other thing that... Uh, we, shall, uh, we have seen from the characteristics is that it has a cell wall. The cell wall is shown here as the outermost wall, but that cell wall is not made of cellulose. The third characteristic that we have learned is that it is prokaryotic, means that it lacks a nuclear membrane. It doesn't have a nuclear membrane. So you can see the nuclear material is not enclosed by a nuclear membrane membrane like we find in other cells. So uh, we are going to uh, stop there with the characteristics and uh, I'm going to give you uh, an assignment on the same so that it can prompt uh, further study on the same area. So the assignment there will be two questions. The first question, explain the term prokaryotic. Explain the term prokaryotic. Number two, give two unique 
characteristics of Kingdom Monera. Two unique characteristics of Kingdom Monera. So we shall stop there. The next uh, lesson will look at more characteristics on Kingdom Monera. Thank you and good day. Thank <music> you.